Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is the, what's it called? Terrorgeist. The Terrorgeist that we built recently. And uh, today we're going to make an attempt at painting it. So, let's get on with it. Uh, yes, so this is the Beastie. Um, those of you who watched the previous video would have seen us, one of the previous videos, put, see us put this together. Uh, it's actually come out fairly well. As you can see, it's now primed and everything. And uh, so my daughter's here. Say hello, Katie. Hello, Katie. Um, yes, so she's going to paint this while I um, adjudicate, I suppose, is probably the, uh, the right word. Uh, she did bring some of her own brushes, which we will probably use or not, as the case may be. Um, I don't know if you've taped them together. She, she taped them together. So that, is that so they don't get mixed up with my brushes? Uh, no, it's just so that they can stay. So that they are you going to are you going to paint? Are you going to paint it just like this? No. With all of the brushes at once. You should. I wasn't. That would be quite fun. Put a comment in if you want to see us use all the brushes at once. Anyway, um, like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, I've got some. Uh, I've got a couple of palettes here. We'll probably use this one because what I'm actually thinking is what might be a good idea with this uh, because of the size of it and also because you can see how fiddly and finicky it is. Um, I thought it might be a good idea to do a lot of this with uh, like washes and things. So I think that's what we're going to try. Certainly for the the larger part of it. Now, obviously, a lot of this is bone, so I think to start with, we're going to give it a coat of this. Uh, this buff is, titanium. Yes, thank you, child. This is uh, De La Roni, um buff titanium, but it's kind of a. I'm hoping that once it goes over the white, it will give us a kind of like a bony look, and that will do. We'll basically do like a, the first color coat of this uh, as a wash, um, and then we'll we'll go from there. So, oh, he says as he can't get the lid open. Now, uh, this is what I want. Oh. You sound like the bird. That's what he does. Every time you show something, he goes, ooh. We have a parrot, an African grey. He's an idiot. Um, and he, he copies noises that he's heard because they mean something to him. People always say, does he talk? And it's like, well, he does, but he doesn't necessarily use words. Um, but he makes noises that mean something to him. And one of the things he does is, because he's got used to it, uh, to hearing it, is if you show him something and he doesn't know what it is, sometimes he goes, ooh, which is, yeah, well, he does that just when he's dancing. He dances as well. Um, right, so we'll put some water in here. That might be way too much, but we'll see. Um, now. Way too much is the perfect amount. <laughs> yes, you're learning, child. Well done. We'll use one of your brushes, shall we? Uh, possibly this chonky one because that might be sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Why are you screwing up my bill? Why are you screwing? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you to use that? No, 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 not that one. You can use this one. This one's for washes. That one's not for washes. Oh, okay, sorry. Right, so. Particular brushes for particular things. Okay. Just, it's quite a chunky brush, but then I suppose it'll probably do for this. Um, right. Huh? It's a wee bit watery. Yeah, I know that. Well, I can always put some more paint in it. Let's just give it a little try. That's not terrible. says is it's probably going to come out a massive blob. That is the one trouble with these things is uh, trying to control how much paint actually comes out is problematic. All right, let's see what that's like. But this uh, palette, by the way, if you're interested, came from the works, I believe. They do them in a set. 
of, of various. So you get you get one of these. You get one of uh, these. You also get a circular palette and a few other bits and pieces as well. But they're quite handy for this kind of thing because you can kind of you know work your way up the up the thing and you know like mix painting and that stuff that sort of thing. So that looks that's probably a little bit better. I'm just thinking actually I might even I'm just wondering whether to put a little tiny drop of uh isopropyl alcohol in it. Whoa. Well, because the reason being is the alcohol the will... The smelly water. The smelly water, yeah, don't, yeah. But the thing is, with isopropyl alcohol, is when you mix it with water, and you literally just need, like, a drop, um, what it does is it breaks the surface tension of the water, or reduces the surface tension of the water, so that it doesn't sit on the surface. Let's just mix that in a bit. But you see now it should follow the the model a bit better. Did you want to have a go? Uh, yes. Let me get your model. No. Oh. I get to sit in the chair again. Yes, you get to sit in the chair. I get to sit in the chair again. Oh. Right now, when you're doing it, don't um. You, you just want to kind of like almost blot it on if you like don't drag it about too much because otherwise what will happen is you'll get loads of bubbles in it so so kind of just be very gentle with it can you be gentle child no. right, how are you doing So this is why I did the um, the white primer over the grey to give it a nice um, bright undercoat to allow this paint to cover better even though it's very thin. So yeah, go on, that's it, you're doing it. When you, look, I've noticed you do this a lot. When you load the brush, load the brush. So like that, you see how much paint is in that brush? That's why brushes have bristles. You load the brush and you don't have to keep going back all the time. But just remember it's going to be very wet now, so don't go mad with it. That's it. Just do the whole thing, do the wings and everything. Because we're going to be going back over the wings with other colours anyway, so. Right, I think you get the idea there, folks. What we'll do is we'll get this bit finished off and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Right, I turned the camera back on because we were discussing what colour to do it and I thought it might be something of interest to you all. Um, so what was it you said? It, it can't be blue? No, I think, I think I'm kind of put off by doing it blue because I saw this um, picture on the internet of one blue and it was painted awful. Oh. Are you becoming a? Are you being a? Are you being a, a, a painting snob, child? No, it was. It was gen, genuinely. It was just bad. Yeah, I know. But you see, people. People have got to learn. I like the way you've got me doing this. What? Well, the way I'm sitting here painting your model for you. Oh. Well, what? Go on. <laughs> oh, I. I. You. 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 Yeah, but, no, but, yeah, but. Yeah, but, no, but. All the buts. Anyway, so we're going to be purple. Right, we decided on purple, have we? Yeah. Because yeah. um, what I was just saying, obviously, with this um, particular beastie, he's, uh, or it is primarily um, bone. So obviously there's going to be a lot of bone shade to it, but a lot of the actual colour will come from like the, the wings. So I would just suggested that it might be an interesting thing to kind of do them a, a kind of a sickly purple colour, if we can. Because um, the thing is, we could do that with the airbrush. Oh God, there's a big blob of paint there. Oh dear, that's not good. Let's move that around a bit and try and get... Um, 
because we could do it with the airbrush but we could also do it again just with the washes um, you know it's one of these things that having an airbrush is very handy but there are certain things on something like this that are very difficult to paint with an airbrush this is what I was just saying um, it's like for example if you look at this wing here trying to get in under here would be difficult because oh, hang on, because his legs in the way so when you're spraying obviously the paint goes in a straight line so to try and get into all these little nooks and crannies here you have to hit it from every angle and you can't because his legs in the way um, it's the same with all of this in here it's very difficult to get to uh, I mean it's bad enough trying to get to it with a brush but trying to get to it with an airbrush would be next to impossible so this is why doing things like this with washes you can cover large areas quickly um, but you can also get like really good results so it's uh, I mean I'm, I'm certainly not a massive expert at it but if you look at a lot of people that, that paint things like this they will do a lot of these with just a series of washes um, and just blend them all together and they look absolutely amazing and I thought it might be an interesting thing to try on this because a it's quicker B, it's just simpler. Um, and uh, three, it. Um, we we'll have to see. What? <laughs> Shush you. Uh, yeah, it just. A, it, B, three. Yeah, exactly. You all know what I meant, didn't you? So you can hear them agreeing with me. I see. <laughs> Apart from the ones that are angrily typing that, well, actually, it's uh, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> right. Uh, I think we're not far off done with this particular uh, step. I'm going to name him Terry as well. Terry. Well, it makes sense, I suppose. Terry the Terror guy. Be like. Terry the tortoise, except it's a it's a wyvern. Yeah, why is it a wyvern? Because it only has two legs. And what's the difference between a wyvern and a dragon? A dragon has four legs and two wings, and a wyvern has two legs and two wings. Well, I mean, it could have more wings, but there you go. Fight us in the comments. Uh, and okay. a drake is a small wyvern. Uh, yes. Don't uh. listen to Google. Google lies. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> depends it depends who's paying for the advertising, I suppose. I'm gonna get demonetized now, you watch. Right. I think that'll do for now. For that colour anyway. That looks alright, I think. Looks suitably bony. Um now I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit this with a hairdryer. Cool, don't do that, you break it. If you're here all week, folks, remember to tip the wait staff. <sighs> I'll do the dad jokes around here, thank you. Uh, yes, so, as I say, I'll dry this off with a hairdryer. And then we'll um, have a think about what we're going to do next. No, because the first one's French, you see. The second one's ir iridescent violet blue. Oh. Right, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to use this. Uh, this is iridescent violet blue. And uh, we're going to use that to do his skin. Oh, this is still sealed up. Oh, God, I'm not going to get this open now, am I? Oh, really? Um, just lost my cells from that. So Terry is going to be iridescent. Well, not really. We're going to just no. put a little. What does iridescent mean? Iridescent, it shimmers. Oh, I knew that. But what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a drop of this in here. Not too much. Not there. That's really way too much. We might have to fix it down a bit. Um, and a bit of water. And a drop of alcohol. 
I think what we'll do is we'll mix it up with um, this brush and then uh, we might have to we'll use a smaller brush to actually but this will give us it won't be it won't be like bright purple we don't want it bright purple what we want is it we want to give him a this is basically for his skin and things so we just want it to look a bit yeah. a bit unpleasant I think that might do us. You just made pink. Huh? So I think you just made pale pink. Well, you might want to drop more water in actually. Uh, where did I put the thing? And I'll give you a quick demonstration and then you can get on with it. Because you're getting bored now, aren't you, child? We've barely started and she's bored already. When I said that if I was painting this for myself, it would probably take about a week, and the look of horror on her face was a picture. Mm -hmm. uh, this brush might do. God, what have you done to this? You've mullered it. All right, so again, load up the brush. And you see where his skin is? You've got to look carefully. So it's like here, you can see this, this is skin. This is bone, yes? So you want to get on the skin bits and try and avoid the bony bits. There's barely any colour. And try not to go too far into his wings. Like that, you see? And also, like round here, on these bits, you can see where the skin kind of goes in and out of the bone, yeah? Mm-hmm. So you want to hit the skin, but, avoid the bone. but try and avoid the bone. It, it, does, it doesn't really matter all that much, but just try and avoid the bone as much as you can, all right? Uh -huh. I'll probably make a right dog's breakfast of this. But you see, by doing it with... So you know... What? Shen. What? Dog's breakfast. This I you know in, in Shen. Well, I suppose. Sorry, apologies to any French people in the audience. That's Spanish. Oh, is it? Well, actually, it might have been French and Spanish, actually. I was going to say, it sounded like a bit of... I, I definitely recognise French in there. Uh. Anyway, why am I doing this? Go on, go on with it. To be fair, I kept doing that when I was doing the primary and kept knocking it over. It's because it's got those big spiky bits that stick out. You, could you do me a favour? What? Could you hold it by the rocks at the bottom and not? Because you've probably got paint all over your hands now. Oh, look, you've got paint all over your hands. I can't. There's, there's... I'm sure a few fingerprints in the paint won't hurt. Right, we'll let you do this until you get bored, because you've got to go in for a shower, haven't you? Nope. So, you can do that until you get bored, which is probably about ten minutes ago. Well, I mean, with the threat of going in the shower, it might be a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> Filthy child. What? Somebody else got disgusting, dirty children who don't want to wash. Comment in the comments if your children don't like washing. I don't like washing the hair, it's all wet. That's the whole point, child. Yeah, so but you don't end up like you've been dragged through a bush backwards. That's a dry. Oh, she has to brush it. Well, you oh. could brush your own hair, couldn't you? How old well, are you I now? Do. 14? Well, I could, but what's the point? Yeah. Well, is it? It's hard to do. Oh, I see. Exactly. Uh, then I have to dry. 
What? Is that thigh or is that muscle? What? Leg? Um, well, uh, I need a pointy thing. There's a pointy thing. Come here, pointy thing. Oh, the pointy thing is attached to other things. So this bit here is bone. You see the skin over the top of it. Yeah. So like round there, down yeah. there and so on. We're going to do other colours on it as well, but this is just to get it started. Huh? It's a milkshake. Well, maybe a bit. Mmm, hot milkshake. Yeah, you had one of those the other day, didn't you? We yeah. won't mention the brand name that it came from because we don't want to get sued and or think we're being sponsored, which we're not. But um, it was weird, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It wasn't unpleasant, but it was unusual. And it was also frighteningly expensive. And I know that uh, there are probably people sitting watching this who are wincing at what we're doing here, but bearing in mind that neither of us are actually particularly accomplished figure painters, but I think <laughs> you're, you're probably better than I am at this point. Uh, this is more just to, um, you know, a way to get this done, you know, to looking looking decent enough without spending, you know, weeks painting every tiny little detail. I'm impatient. Because she's impatient, yes. Impatient in, in this is the key to happiness. Is that what it is? Yeah, it is. Um, right, well once again we'll carry on with this bit and then we'll come back and see what it looks like when it's finished. I'd like to get the camera in a bit nearer but unfortunately it's obviously it's a lot easier for her to paint it like this because the camera's not in the way. So, yeah. but I'm sure you can see what's going on. Right, back in a minute. Right, so we've got all the, all the pink bits done, the skin and whatnot. Not going to stay like that. Um, now you've brought some colours, haven't you? What have you brought? She brought some of her yeah. own paints now. I have. Oh, just a little I have some alien purple. I have some saying or other purple. Grimoire, grimoire purple. That as well. Grimoire is a kind of book. I have some orc blood mm. I have some warlock purple aka pink I have some glistening blood and of course my favourite colour crusted saw nice very good um, now I've also just found one out right from my paints. This is a, a very old Citadel rotting flesh. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to use some of this, and we're going to go over the um, the skin, not necessarily the muscle, just the skin, and kind of tone it down a bit with this because it is very pink. actually looks extraordinarily similar to the titanium but that's all right it's a bit boring this huh it's a bit boring this well what were you expecting because you seem to have just got to the point now where you're just slapping the brush about on the model Are you bored of painting it already? No. Why do I get the feeling that I'm going to end up finishing this? Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm going to end up finishing this? Because uh, you just seem to be just like, eh, I'm just, just slapping paint on now because I'm bored. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? No, you're not supposed to just slap paint on like that. You're supposed to at least try and be a little bit careful about it. Because yeah. otherwise you might as well just dunk it in a bucket of paint and be done with it. You do it then. Yeah, see this is exactly it. You do it then. Get out of the way. 
Okay, do you want to buy these things? And then you get halfway through painting them and get bored. Oh, you're painting them and doing it right. I'm not. Well, are you just doing this? Well, no, I'm not. Really? Shall I roll the camera back? Mm -hmm. Me. What are you going over there for? Oh, so you're just going to take a seat over there now, are we? That's it. We're done, are we? Oh, you can supervise from over there, I see. So there you are, folks. It was it was in, originally intended to be my daughter painting this, but now it looks like I'm doing it. Which means that now this model is mine. No. I bought it. Oh, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure your brother bought it. Yeah, but I paid him to buy it. Where have you got money from? You got money from the whole time. That's all. You got more money than I have. Mm -hmm. I'm still not quite sure how that works, but still. No, you go and take a seat, child. Heaven forbid that you know you might actually paint your own blooming thing. Well, what? Complaining that I'm doing it wrong. I'm not complaining you're doing it wrong. I'm telling you that slapping the brush wildly across the model is not how you paint something, unless you're um, uh, what's his name, um, Jackson Pollock or somebody. Who's that? Yeah, who's that? He's an artist. He slaps paint on things and gets paid a lot of money for it. Cool, I could do that. Yeah, I know. See, the trouble is with that, you have to convince the art world that you know what you're doing. That is the great con of, of, uh, of all art, is convincing other people that you know what you're doing. I do. Well, no, you, you don't. Of course you do. That's what you do. You tell them. You tell them. It's like, there's a, a story uh, that a friend of mine tells, which is absolutely hilarious. Uh, he used to work in an art gallery and um, he uh, had a, a couple of visitors coming once, Americans, not that it's got anything to do with the story that they're Americans, it's just they happen to be Americans. And uh, they went around for a while and they were looking at things and then eventually they came over to him and they, they said, oh sorry, could we ask you a question? He's like, yeah, sure. So they said, oh, one of the, um, one of the pieces over here doesn't have a doesn't have a, a, a label on it and we, we don't know what it is. We wonder if you could tell us about it. So he went over and he looked and he went, ah oh, yes, now I should mention my friend is very sharp and very quick on the uptake. So he's like, oh yes, this is, uh, you, you, you've spotted a rare piece here. And he said, this is by the, um, the surrealist artist Van Kleist. And he carried, went on to give them a, a very lengthy description of the piece and the artist and everything else. And uh, they went away very happy and very pleased, having spent about an hour looking at a fire hose <coughs> that was mounted on the wall in the uh, in the gallery, and um, which we all thought was hilarious, and actually sp spawned a whole movement of uh, Van Kleist supporters who uh, find works by the the great and mysterious Van Kleist and post pictures of them on social media. So, if you ever uh, come across a Van Kleist, now you know why. Um, but it was just interesting, the fact that they just completely believed what he said, because he worked in the art gallery. And it's one of these things that I find, I, it's something I've always wanted to do, and I know it would never work, was to get one of like the finger paintings that the kids did, and get some art critic to basically praise it but they would never do that because um, that would give the game away that uh, a lot of art nowadays I mean art is always subjective but um, a lot taping a banana to a wall is not art well, I don't care what anyone says um, especially when somebody eats the banana <laughs> 
I mean, that's you, the real art. I say you could you could argue that it is art, but it's just you know, it's, it's a banana. It's a banana, yes. It's not like it's a banana. But it's the idea is is uh, it's supposed to be interpreting the um, the intent behind the art. That's what makes it art is when it's done with intent. So technically, this fire hose became a work of art because of the intent of the artist, which was my friend who basically used it to fool some gullible tourists. Um, but uh, I just thought it was interesting that they would uh, fall for it quite so readily. But it's just like they people just, you know, that why would they not believe him? You know, he works in the art gallery, he tells them it's an art installation and they believe him. Why, why wouldn't they? But uh, I just found it quite interesting that uh, they were so ready to believe that um, this, you know, literal fire hose was a work of art. But there you go. So what's your idea of art then, child? What do you mean? Well, what kind of art do you like? Cat pictures on the internet. Because we all know the internet is made of cats. So I'm good at drawing is cats. Huh? So that's what I'm good at drawing is cats. You can draw other things other than cats. Yeah, but I'm good at drawing cats. You are good at drawing cats, yes. But you're good at drawing lots of things. Mainly cats. Well, that's because you like cats. What was that um, thing I saw the other day? So it's um, Saint Gertrude or something? Who apparently is the patron saint of cats and cat lovers. That's uh, this. Actually, you know what? Seriously, this rotting flesh is basically the same colour as this buff, as this buff titanium. It's drying basically the same colour. I just find that quite funny. Might have to redo that then. Huh? Might have to go over all of it. Well. It's not a question of not going over all of it. It's the fact that we don't want... There are bits of it really we, we don't want covered. Yes, but it's not all about being quick, is it, child? It's about doing a good job and, and getting it to look some, like something at the end. And not just, I'm bored of this, paint it for me. Sound about right? <coughs> don't me 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 because you're the one that's me 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 because you don't want to paint it. Now the things fell over, you see. I blame you. Because you see, what I've got here, and these are probably, well, these are older than you. I've got some Citadel inks, you see. That, oh dear, that's bright. There's brown and chestnut. And I'm just wondering, let's put a drop of this. That's not chestnut, that's red. Well, it's a kind of reddish brown. It's chestnut. I might be a bit too red, actually. Let's put a drop, okay. of, this, drop of this brown in. You've got to be careful with inks because they, um, a little bit goes an awful long way. I got told off the other day for calling these cocktail sticks. And they said, not a cocktail stick, it's a toothpick. And it's like, whatever. It says cocktail stick on the box. Oh, it's a cocktail stick. Well, yeah, exactly. It's not a toothpick. It's not a toothpick because we've got some of them in the drawer. Apparently they're hygienic. Are they? Apparently. Well, they're probably the ones that I got before, because I was going to um, I was going to make something with them. I never got around to it. Um, yeah, you do that a lot. Well, you know why? Huh? What are you looking at me for? <sighs> well, I wonder. It's your responsibility to be organised. <laughs> yeah, right, whatever. Right, let's see what this does. If indeed it does anything. Because it's definitely changed the colour of it in the thing. It doesn't seem to make a great deal of difference on the actual model. I was going to say, we'll put another drop in and see what that does. Uh, 
Let's make it two drops. For fun and profit. Oh, profit. Capitalism. You know what it could do? We could put a drop of green in it as well. Green in it as well. Go. There we go. Right now, a drop of green. Let's see if we can get the orange out. Well, it's a bit green. Do we mind it's a bit green? How would that relate to me doing it? Well, it's whether we need to put any more brown in it. Uh, well. Just chuck some more brown in it. It's funny how one drop of green has completely overwhelmed four drops of brown. Well, that seems to be going a bit better. So um, she can finish that off and whinge and moan all the way through it. And then uh, we'll come back and see what it looks like. Stop grizzling, child. Everything. You have to do everything. everything. It's your model. Good grief. Little brat. Right, well, there you go. That's the, uh, the brown goop on. She got bored halfway through, so I had to finish it off. Oh, I did most of it. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a similar thing uh, and do his wing membranes. Ooh, membranes. Yeah, but I think. Um... Oh, you got me yawning now, Tom. Oh, God. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I think what we're going to do. Oh is knock it over for the thousandth time. I think we might use some of this uh, alien purple as a base coat for it. But we're going to do the same thing as before. We'll um, thin it out and uh, apply it as a wash. You just don't want to paint anything anymore. but it takes so long well that's what happens child put a comment if you've got kids that do the same thing I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this and five minutes after I'm bored oh. why does it take so long why is the sky blue why is the sky blue you should know why the sky is blue because all the other colours were taken Yes, child, that's exactly what it is, because all the other colours were taken. Um, well, we can use a bigger brush, how about that? That'll make it go a bit quicker. Like that, you see? Mm -hmm. But what you want to try and avoid doing is getting it all over the wing spa bit things, whatever they're called. Wingers. Yes, those. So you want to go up to them, but try not to get it on them. Yes, mm -hmm. you see, like that. Mm -hmm. Now, are you going to be able to do this without going, I'm bored, after five seconds? I think so. Well, I didn't like doing the little skin bits, because there's, there's the bit, the little tiny bits in the middle one, and you don't want to get it off. Well, it doesn't matter too much. You just try and avoid them. Very delicate and intricate. Well, that's what miniature painting is, child. Because it's all tiny and annoying. A bit I like you. I can't do a full scale one. Yeah, can you imagine how much that would cost? <laughs> all 
Right, like that, you see? Ta-da! Right. Get on with it. Right. So once again, we'll carry on with this. Shouldn't take too long, and then we'll uh, come back when it's done. Right. She's done the wings. She's actually done quite a good job of it, kind well, of. I mean... Aside from the uh, huge blobs on this one that she did at the end because she was getting bored. Well, but... I wasn't getting bored. I was kind of just winging it, you know? Yeah, just the winging it. That's the problem, isn't it? But there oh, you go. Cool. So, I'm there we go. Waiting this entire time to say that. Huh? So I've been waiting this entire time to be able to say that. Well, I would have told you before. I'll do the dad jokes, thank you. <laughs> I've already, I can, I can actually hear the subscriber number falling from that awful joke. For those of you who may have missed it, she said I was winging it. What's wrong with that? So anyway, she's now whinging that she's bored. So um, I'm not. I think what I'm going to, yeah, not now. Turn the camera back <laughs> on. You're not. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so we'll let this dry and uh, I'll have a little think about what we're, we're going to do next. Right, so it's the next day. It's not in the way. I've just been, uh, I just painted the inside of his mouth quickly, just, oh, God, focus. Just slop some paint in there while I was waiting for her while she's doing her own work. So. We've got both offspring now. Goody. Um, so what I'm thinking we should do next is basically what I've just done the inside of his mouth, but on the muscly bits. So all of the bits we've got left that are pink, what you want to do is start with um, some of this dark purple and then kind of blend it with the red and the whatever that pink is. What was that? This one. Uh, Warlock purple, so we've got alien purple, uh, warlock purple, and glistening blood. So, mm, tasty. But you're basically making a wash, but effectively on the brush. So what you do is you get the brush wet, and then you basically mix the paint directly onto the brush like that, you see, get the brush loaded up. And I'll do a bit just to show you. So for example, this bit here. Water. Probably not that much. And then Like that, you see, and then let's get a bit of tissue. Thank you. Just damp the worst of, of it off. You don't need to wash the brush in between because you're blending the paints anyway. And get some of the uh, what is it, warlock purple, aka pink. Well, yeah, and just I'm whiting it up a little. Like that, and then get some of the red glistening blood. That mm. too, glistening blood. Like that, you see? Yes, were you even watching then? Yeah, uh, yeah, go on, get on with it. Do that, do that bit first. That's probably the easiest bit to do. Wet the brush first. Oh. Right, look, the, 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 the way you oh. load a brush makes me cringe. Oh. Watch the way I do it, like that, you see? Just dab the brush into the paint sideways, like that, you see? Hmm. You see the way the brush is loaded up now? There's paint on it. Because you just do the way you paint, the way you always do. Jam the brush into the paint and then slap it on. What are you doing? Why are you measuring that? 
not no, laughing at the back. Sense. He's measuring my portal. Why? Are you trying to steal my portal? I don't think your phone will fit in it. Uh, well, it will fit in it, but... I don't know. Does it specifically need a phone in it? Well, you don't have to put a phone in it. You can 3D print an insert for it, but mm. you're meant to put a phone in it. Because the phone displays the animation for the um, the portal. Mm. He's talking about the calling portal that I did recently from Black Scrolls Games. I'll put a link in the thing. Remember to like and subscribe. And 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 um, comment. Ah, yeah. That like, one. comment, subscribe. What he said. Right. Look, he looks really muscular. Like, comment, subscribe. So that's all right. That's pretty good. Good job. Carry on. Oh yeah, bits. you need to click the notification bell as well. Is that muscle? What? Is that muscle? Uh. No, I think that's bone. Okay. But you've also got um. So you've got like this bit here. That's the same as on the other side. Um. And then really. Yeah, if you can get to it and do that bit. Um, but there's some bits like on the wings and that where the wings are attached that need doing. Mm. But do the legs first. Come on. Now, now we're getting into the fiddly bits. Now we've done the, oh, this is a big area. We can just slap paint on it. Now we're getting into the fiddly bits. What are you whinging about? There's always got to be at least two heaters on in there, isn't there? not two heaters, there's one heater and it's only on one thing, so it's on its lowest setting. It's still melting my neck. Well, that's because you're not supposed to stand that close to it. <laughs> Maybe you should it go does stand stay on it outside. quite specifically, do not put anything within one metre of this heater. Ooh. Come over here again then. <laughs> go back to the cheap seat. Yeah. Ah! It's a fruit fly! Probably. That's because there's a compost heap right outside the door. Oh, don't turn that. Why? Why? <laughs> you might want some more of that purple, by the way, but carry on. So, what do you think of my wet palette compared to yours? It's a little bit small. Well, that's because. It's a little bit, um. Five minute craft. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, we don't do five minute crafts because a lot of stuff they do on there is dangerous. And it doesn't work. It's all fake. Well, it's not all fake, but a lot of it is fake. Especially yeah. their cookery stuff. You want to be very careful with some of that stuff. Like when they tell you to put silicon stuff in the oven. <laughs> well, it's just there's a lot of it is very dodgy. What is it? What is it? The youth say, "Boy, we're a bit sus." Is that still a thing? We're a bit sus. Is thing a thing still sus? I'm, I'm <laughs> from the look on his face. I'm suggest thinking possibly not. What? What? What's? What's? What, now, what do you mean it's not sus anymore? What do you say instead of sus? I, what? what? On, do you, you not are, say you sus? Are, you are the youth, are you not? I don't know. You are the youth. You always just said sus. Lovely. <laughs> I don't know. Right, you, you see, you're, you, you're backsliding, child. Because you're just blobbing paint on again. Uh, yeah. Thin the paint, child. No wonder you go through it so fast. You never thin, thin it. Thin the paint. <laughs> Shut up. Why don't you just get, use the squeezy bottle and just squeeze it on from a distance? So you can use the <laughs> entire bottle in one go. I've never known anyone go through much grey paint as you do. What? Why do you use so much grey paint? What do you want? Yeah. Well, I've had, you the, the only paints I've had to replace out of your set were greys. Well, yeah, that's because I built that dragon that one time and I painted it entirely grey. Oh, yeah, and didn't thin the paint. And the mummy mug. That was the other one. Uh, yes! I wasn't the only one using that though, was I? Yes, but you definitely used the vast majority of it. Because no, I, I think I took about like a little tiny squeeze out of the bottle. 
Yeah. And like, I managed to paint all of my um, all of my normal rats with that, and a couple of the plague ones. You shut up about your rats. You need a bit more of that. Yes, I do. What? Being accosted by bugs. Yeah. Well. Being outside. That's because. I'm not outside. That's because the spiders aren't doing their jobs. <laughs> Eaters have killed all the spiders, so the flies are laying. No, I think the rats ate all the spiders. Mm. Uh, there is, a, there is a big one that lives in the corner up there. Do they? Uh, Where? Not, she's not out at the moment. I know it's a she. Above, above the A10. Well, because it most likely is a she. Um, no, the A10, where the light switch is, the fan on the wall to your left. Oh, yeah. Well, that web up there, there's a huge spider lives on that. There's a web there? Oh, the one that goes all the way across the water from there? Yeah, the one that goes across half the shed. Yeah. But I don't use that bit of shed very much, so she's welcome to it. <laughs> <coughs> well, if we get rid of the flies and things, I don't care. Makes me laugh. I mean, I don't, I don't like spiders. I don't want near me. But at the same time, it's like <laughs> I don't mind them being in here as long as they keep to their corners and they get rid of the flies. I kind of feel bad for the fly that went all the way down there now. Huh? Mm. Any wasps in there? That's the trouble. Mm. Although I haven't seen many wasps yet. So. I can't see anything. What? I can't see anything. What do you mean you can't you need see your glasses? Anything? No, I, I can't see what I'm doing here. Get out the angled brush. Ugh. Anyway, it's folks, fine. we're going to um, we'll do all these red bits, or muscly bits, and then we'll come back and have a look at it. Right, well, she's finished with all the muscly bits. Done quite a good job there, child. Well done. More practice needed, but, you know, good start. Take that look off your face. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do some of this, um, that's not the one, that's rotting flesh, this one, uh, bleached bone, and we're going to do that on his teeth and his claws, uh, so we'll do that, and then after that we're going to use the rotting flesh to touch up a few little bits on the skeleton, where there's a, you know little bits of overpaint and that, and try and get rid of those, and then we're going to seal the whole thing with possibly this. This is a gloss lacquer. But um, for now, the main thing is um, teeth, claws, tuts. with that. Jimmy's tuts. You can't sit there stroking it, child. Anyway. Um, right, so uh, this next day, and uh, as you can see, it is now shiny because I gave it a spray of uh, of gloss lacquer. It's also slippery. Well, yeah, it's because it's smooth. But that, that's the reason why. Because what we're going to do, you'll notice the uh, little cake tin thing here. We're going to give it an oil wash. Are you not going to make cakes? No. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're going to... use this to uh, give us some shading in strategic spots. Ooh. So this is um, De La Rowney, De La Rowney um, burnt umber oil paint and what we're going to do is we need some uh, this white spirit so this is Ooh. just uh, cheap stuff which I believe came from Wilkinson's who which as far as I'm aware, no longer exists. Oh, I can't get the lid off. Child safe cat. Oh. So we'll just put a drop of this white spirit in there. It's not white, it's clear. <laughs> just saying. Shush you. That's why it's called white spirit, because it doesn't have any colour. Anyway, um, right, let's get rid of it. Oh, that's your brush, isn't it? All right, 
just with an old brush and mix this up. We don't want this too thin, but at the same time we don't want it too goopy. Might be a bit goopy, but we'll see. So we shall put on a glove. Just try and avoid getting as much of this as possible on our hands. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over strategic points here. Ooh. So, like this. But what we want to do is get all down through the the skeleton and that to shade it all. You can go over it quite quickly. But you, what you want to do is, is make sure that you, it runs into all the little nooks and crannies. Mm -hmm. You see like what it's doing there around the edges of the skin. Mm -hmm. That's what you want it to do. No, but that's fine. That's fine. You, that what you've done there is fine. Just leave it like that. Yeah. But don't just flood great loads of it on because the more you put on, the more we have to take off. <laughs> Right, we'll um, carry on with this and uh, we'll come back when it's done. Right, let's get rid of these. So it is suitably covered, oily. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit it with a hairdryer to dry it off. And then um, we're going to clean it up. You're not listening to me anymore. What? I treated that statement with the contempt it deserves. <laughs> right, now for the fun bit. You're not going to like this at all. So now I've got to start cleaning it up. I'm more into that entail. Well, going over it with bits of tissue, which is why I'm whipping up this bit of kitchen paper. So what we want to do is just start removing it like that. And it's going to be a very long and tedious process. But you just wipe it gently and start wiping the paint off so it stays in all the cracks and crevices and recesses. Wouldn't it have been easier to do that while it was wet? Well, it's not completely dry. It's oil paint and it takes days to dry. Oh. But all we've got to do is, um, well, no, we won't be taking it for days to dry because we're going to hit it with a hair dryer. But it's more just, we're going to, uh, yeah, it wasn't particularly amusing the first time, child, but carry on. But what we want to do is, like I say, just get the worst of it off while leaving it in all of the nooks and crannies, you see? Uh -huh. But like I said, it is a laborious and time consuming process, but you have to do it. But you see the difference it's made? To the uh, I don't the huh? I well, I would leave the glove on if I was you because you're going to be doing this. Yes, but it's all sweaty and sticky. Oh. Right, just be careful. Remember when you're going around all the fluffy bits and whatnot because you'll knock them off in a flash if you're not yeah. careful. Do you see what the task is, child? Yes, I do. 
do you understand the practice? Yes, I do. Do you do you not understand the practice? Can you give it? Oh, oh, I broke his foot off. Oh, what? Never mind. We'll glue that back on. Right. So she claims to have finished. Let's have a look. Too bad. Seeing as you've never done it before, I think you've done a fairly decent job there, child. But do you see the difference it's made to the look of it? Mm -hmm. And the way all of that really loud, leery colours that we put on it are now all been kind of unified and brought together. Mm -hmm. Clever that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is why when you're painting something, with the, the colours you choose, you have to think about not just what they look like at the time, but what they're going to look like underneath or adjacent to the other finishes that you use. Mm -hmm. Get care, dear. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, for example, if you put a um, uh, a matte lacquer on this, the colours will all dim dim, dim down. But if you uh, put a gloss lacquer on it, they'll appear brighter. Just because of the way the light oh. interacts with them. So when we spray this with a matte lacquer, which we're going to do in a minute, um, then uh, it will all dull down and the colours will all become a lot more muted. Wow. Anyway, viewers, if any of you are listening to that, because <laughs> she clearly doesn't seem to care, um, and what were you saying about his wings are cut? Oh god, there are, aren't they? This thing's just falling apart. And uh, the other one of his fluffy bits came off that's over there. Isn't oh it? goody! Right. Well, anyway, we're going to dry this off. Um, Stick and we'll, it back together. We'll do this off camera because there's no point you sitting here watching me do this. But it's going to be a lot of um, hair drying and spraying it with matte lacquer and sticking all the bits back on. So uh, we'll go away and do that, and then uh, we will come back and see what the next step is but uh, yes we are proceeding apace as they say gone through this whole video without one trace of a tablescape <laughs> will you shush about tablescapes <sighs> anyway um, so yes again it is the next day uh, so I gave this a spritz of, uh, of matte lacquer it's um, uh, this stuff uh, Oh, the high coat. This is actually really good stuff. Can you be careful? This thing is a bit tippy as it is. But um, anyway, as you can see, I think that has actually done a, a fantastic job of, uh, you know, sealing everything. And also, because it dulls down the colours slightly, um, it's made everything slightly less leery, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, and to be honest, I don't really think there's a great deal more we need to do to this. I was going to do some dry brushing on it, but honestly, I don't think it needs it. What do you think, child? No, I don't think so. You just want it done, don't you? Just so. You, you, are you bored of this now? Well... <laughs> um, but seriously, I, I honestly don't think this really needs a lot more. Um, but uh, I mean, the, the one thing we do have left to do is the rocks. So we're going to do that next. Um, and uh, we're also going to paint the rock that we made. Can you sh <laughs> Weirdo. We're also going to paint the rock that we made for the figure, uh, the, the um, abhorrent, whatever he's called. But we're going to paint him in a separate video because that we're going to try and do a little bit closer in because apparently what was it you said you have some techniques you want yes to i have some new techniques i would like to demonstrate to the world of, of youtubes and the okay. and the, and the things and so stuff. okay so that'll be a follow-up video if you know if you guys are interested i'm, I'm kind of curious to see what she's going to do because the thing <laughs> is i wanted to um i wanted to paint that myself but she's adamant that she wants to do it so that's fine it's her model um so yes, I think what we'll do is we'll do the rocks um, and I think after that, I mean there's a couple of other bits like we're gonna, I'm going to put some, um, some gloss 
varnish in his mouth just to make his tongue shiny and stuff like that. Um, but aside from that, I don't really think it needs a lot more. So let's um, let's do. Th how are we going to do these rocks? That's the question, child. Get a paintbrush and you paint it grey. Don't be facetious. What? Well, I was just wondering actually whether to um, do it that way or do it. Did you bring grey paint? No, no of course you didn't. Well, no, I've got grey paint we can use, safe going back down the house. But I've got dark stone grey paint. Have you really? Yeah, and then it will blend in with all the other models. Oh. We'll go and get that. Oh, right, okay, we'll be back in a second. She's going to get some paint. Right, so she's back. What have you brought, child? Let's have a look. Let's put that over there for a second. Cause I have this one, which is... Uh, Necromancer cloak. Yeah, that one. Okay. And this one, which is dark stone. Dark stone. This one, which is uniform grey. Uniform grey. And ash grey. Ash grey. Is that the one I bought the other day? I think so. Yeah. I'll say it looks like you haven't used it yet. Um, okay. Right. Well, did you want the wet palette? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, I do. <laughs> do, you, do you prefer your wet palette or my wet palette? My wet palette. <laughs> Yeah, well, in my wet palette I made myself. Oh, it's a DIY wet palette. Well, it's, um, I actually 3D printed some of these boxes to use as bases. Um, and uh, I, I, I can't remember what was going on, but I, I, lots of people, I saw these things about people talking about wet palettes. And uh, I wanted to try it out. And I saw some videos on like people making their own. And I thought, I'll give it a go and see like how it works. And um, it, uh, yeah, it's actually been, it's worked really well. So I say, if you, if you want a, if you want a wet palette and you don't have one or you can't afford one or whatever, I mean, all this is, you, I mean, I've seen people do this just literally with a, a like a saucer, and um, you know, make one yourself because that's in that that in there is just a bit of folded up kitchen paper, and this is. Um, uh, baking paper, you know, like baking parchment. So, you know, obviously you can go and buy uh, wet palettes. The, the, the problem with this is it doesn't have a lid, uh, so it does... Um, dry out. It does dry out, yes. That is the one issue with it. Uh, but um, while you're actually painting, this is this works really well. So if you wanted to just give it a try and see how you get on with one, then that's one way of doing it. Uh, right, anyway, so go on then, child, get on with it. Which one should I do first? Well, it's up to you. You wanted to use your own paints. So how light or dark do you want these rocks? No, I meant which rock should I do first? Oh, um, do the ones on here, because we want okay. to get this finished. Um, just obviously be very, very careful around his... Mm. What was it you called them? Toe beans. Well, they're not really toe beans, are they? Toe sausages. They're not really toe sausages either, are they? They're more like ripping. You're not going to shake that before you start squirting it out everywhere. At least the one th one nice thing, about actually, about these army painter sets, and they're not a sponsor or anything. Um, when she took an interest in painting things, I bought her a set of these, and it was quite expensive. It was about a hundred pounds, but it did mean that don't leave them like that because if there's any paint in it, it runs out and it goes all over the place. Just leave them on this side. Um, but they, uh, you get, I think it was, what did you get, like a hundred different ones or something? Yeah. I think it was so. quite a lot. So they actually worked out at about a pound each. So if you can afford it, it's a great way to get started. Um, and both her and her brother use these. But they also have, um, oh, this one's, yeah, they have a, I don't know if you can hear that. Stop laughing at the back. Uh, they have a, a, an agitator in them, so you can shake them up really well. But anyway, um, go on then, child. Get on. Crack on. Now, remember what I said about wetting the brush first? Or are you just going to dob the paint on? You're going to just dob the paint on. Are you? <laughs> you paint your way and I'll paint mine. Yeah, way. whatever. So, uh, yes. Yeah. So what colour was this one? Uh, dark, dark stone. Dark stone. This is dark stone, right, okay. 
Huh? Can't see what I do. Well, that's one of the joys of miniature painting. Just try not to get it on the... The thing is, though, this is why I said wet the brush, because it will cover a lot easier. Oh, God. And then dob it in the paint, yeah. You have to teach you how to load a brush properly. So you might have to give it a couple of coats, but it will go on a lot easier. And um, it will look a lot better. Well, it will just, just be easier to paint. Well, you look, try and come out, try and, give me that for a minute, try and come into it from this angle, you see, because then you can get in down the side of the claw, I mean, I can't really do it very well, because I'm not holding the model, but, you know, try and get at, you know, move the brush around, move the model around, and so on. Um, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll give these stones all a coat of this, well, dark stone, and then uh, we'll see what it looks like. You know people are going to think you're balmy. <laughs> right, so it's she's done the first layer of dark stone. First layer? Um, well, I don't know if you're going to go back over and do all the bits you've missed. I haven't missed anything. Really? What about all this down here then? What do you mean? <laughs> there's a big bit there, there's a big big there, there's there and there. Mm. So, <clears throat> anyway, we'll touch those bits up. Um, and then what are you going to do next? Are you going to do a bit of dry brushing to highlight it or...? No. That's it, is it? <laughs> Get out of the way. The dog see the rabbit. Because <laughs> you've got all those skulls and things on there to paint as well. Oh. Oh. Right, let's have a look. Bring glasses. There's loads of bits you've missed. Those bits for you. Yeah, oh, is that what it is? Right, okay, so she's saving those bits for me apparently. Right, I think that will do. So, what we'll do now is I think we will get a bit of our bleached bone and we'll do those skulls. Right, I apologise if you can't see this very well, but it's incredibly awkward to get it. Oh. Focus. There you go. I'll do the rest of them as well. Do you want to paint the skulls, Charles, or shall I just do it while I'm here? You can do it. Yeah, I figured that would be the case. Oh, this is a bit awkward to hold. Actually, child, you remember the letters you used to get from the Tooth Fairy? Oh, yeah. Do you remember what those letters used to say? Uh, oh, yeah, that the... Um why, why were they collecting? A, why were they collecting the teeth? They used to build a, a little. It, um, was it a throne? No, the skulls were the throne. Oh yeah, no, it was the the the. Uh, like uh, a wall. It was the yeah the fortress. Yeah. So um, some of you may be aware that uh, that the chaos god Corn sits on a throne of skulls. And uh, apparently, according to the letters left by the Tooth Fairy, um, the reason they collect the teeth are to make the fortress that the, uh, the skull throne sits in. So if any of you ever need to explain to your children what the, what the Tooth Fairy does with said teeth, now you know. So, have you still got those letters? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't surprise me. You never throw anything away, do you, Carl? You're worse than me. Yeah. The hoarding nonsense. Oh, do you ever find that when you're doing models and you, you look at a bit and you want to paint it and you literally cannot see any way to get paint into it, whether it's brush or airbrush or whatever? There's just no way to actually get to the thing. You can see it, but you can't get to it. You need to buy the new DLC pack. What? 
You need DLC <laughs> to get to it. What are you babbling about, <laughs> child? Well, you can see it, but you can't have it. Do you know what? Actually, one of the things that's about the fact that this brush has a useless tip on it. What? The, the tip of this brush. Let me see if I can show you. Um, the tip of this brush. Focus. At least try and focus. Uh, yeah, you can see it has a distinct list to port, shall we say. And it actually works quite well for some of these things because you can get right in. It's like here where I'm trying to get in, like literally around a corner, I can come in at an angle and like angle the tip of the brush around it. So in some respects, having a, a, a what would normally be an awful brush can my actually... Um, awful. Stop insulting my brushes. Well, technically they're my brushes since I bought them. I use them. Yeah. So we shall wet the brush. And then um, we shall dry the brush. No, I was going to say. And then we good. shall paint the thing. You don't and need then to. we shall wet the brush. And then we shall dry the brush. Can you just get on with it, and <laughs> weirdo? I think what we'll do now, I think we're almost done actually, quite frankly. Um, we'll stick that thing back on again. Come on, it's my fault. Well, I'm, I'm not saying it's your fault. It's one of those things that, I'm sure you've all done this. You've had a model where there's a certain bit that just will not stay put. Um, in fact, there you go. Here's a. We'll do, the, we'll do the content creator thing. Leave a comment if you've had a bit that won't stay stuck on your model. Um, Remember to like and subscribe and comment and, and, and click the little bell and, 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 and that's probably, yeah. That's probably about it. Um, uh, there's also the super thank you button as well. Oh yeah, remember to do that. You don't even know what that is, do you? No. <laughs> Super thank you is a button, and this is not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to prod anyone here, but the super thank you button is basically a button where you can do like a one-off donation to a channel. So if you look oh. at the uh, thing, there's like a little thing with a dollar sign on it, and if you click that, you can make a, like a one-off donation. So anyway, um, again, that is not me trying to pressure anyone. It's just I'm explaining to her what it is, because um, anyway. I have a cunning plan, child. Oh God. It's so cunning, you could brush your teeth with it. It might save us a huge amount of work here. Hang on. Uh, where is it? Ah. Right, let's get that out of the way for a second. Reichland Flesh Shade. I just want to put some, some color on, the, or, you know, something on those rocks. And I think this might be the thing to do it and hopefully it will um, save us having to rock up the rocks well just do too much let's have a look uh, yeah I think that will work I don't know if you can actually see that or not Yeah, this might make life a bit easier. I did actually make um, some of this stuff. There's a channel, I think I've mentioned it before. It used to be called uh, Luke's APS and it's now called, I think, Geek Gaming Services or something like that. Um, I'll leave a, a link. But um, the chap who run it, who used to run it, uh, who I think has now actually retired from, from YouTube, um, the, the channel st is still there, but I don't think he runs it anymore. But he's a very clever guy, uh, and a very, a very nice and sort of down-to-earth chap. 
but what he would do is show you how to make because like things like this are expensive and he would show you how to make your own um, and I did actually do that uh, it's just that this <laughs> this jar happened to be closer than the one I made but um, yeah if you want to make stuff like this because you can make you know tons of it as much as you want um, I mean I've got some videos as well that show you how to do things like um, make your own like scenery glue and stuff like that which reminds me actually child I need to make some scenery glue at some point because I've nearly run out um, so here, actually here's another one for you some of you may have seen the scenery glue video that I did some time ago um, would it help if I did an updated version of it so if you think that it might be nice to revisit that subject um, then I will do so because otherwise I'll just knock a bunch of it together but leave a comment That's like and subscribe <laughs> ding the little bell yeah all right don't milk it child um no. so uh Join huh Join that. oh good grief um do you know what actually I've got a sneaking suspicion we might actually be done here <laughs> this seems to happen quite a lot with my projects. Like, it seems like there's so much to do, and then suddenly it's like, oh no, actually I'm done. Um, I'll give those rocks. Oh well, let that let that um, wash dry off. Uh, then we'll give the rocks a spritz of matte lacquer, and then I think we can call this done. Well done, child. Yay! And here is our finished article. Are you happy with it, child? Mildly content. Anyway, um, yeah, this was actually. Have you enjoyed doing this, child? Yes, it was all right, I suppose. <laughs> Try not to sound too excited. People, there are some people who kill to have a thing like this. Hmm. Um, so we've stuck his bits back on again, uh, which hopefully now they won't come off again. And if they do, then quite frankly, they can stay off. Um, <laughs> Either that or I'm just going to put, put, put a big nail through it. Um, but uh, did you learn anything, child, in the form of painting techniques? Uh, About using washes and things to paint large models quickly? Yes. <laughs> See, she's little mood. Anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so I think it's, it's, uh, it's come out really well, actually. It's, honestly, it's come out better than I thought it was going to. Um, it's uh, as a you know, figure painting is really not my thing, and especially things this big, I really thought this was going to be an absolute nightmare. But it's it's I'm very pleased with how this has come out. Uh, so what we will do in a future video, if you guys are interested, is we'll paint the the um, the what's he called a Borant Ghoul King or whatever he is. Yeah. We'll paint him. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, obviously, I don't know if you guys are actually enjoying these little Warhammer forays. If you are, then you know, let us know. And again, if you're not, let us know. But uh, hopefully, you've enjoyed this one. Uh, I'd like to take a moment and thank my top tier patrons, uh, Howard, Amy, and Hawaii Clivo, plus all my other patrons and channel members and everybody, all you lovely people at home. Uh, don't forget to join us on social media. There you go. There's one you forgot, child. Join us on social media. Um, getting, getting the media of the socials exactly so you can come and join us in the staff canteen on Facebook uh, obviously Patreon, TikTok and all the rest of it the links Except are all not TikTok <laughs> shush you I do not support TikTok yeah whatever um, but in the meantime uh, hopefully you've all enjoyed this little video and we will see you on the next one uh, say goodbye Katie goodbye Katie <sighs> bye everyone Thank <laughs> you.